Well, I was very physical. Um, you know, the switching, and, and they do a pretty good job of pushing up, being aggressive. Takes away his pick and pop, and they got enough positional size to negate post ups to a certain extent. Um, in the first half, they, they stayed big for, you know, quite a few minutes, which allowed us to kind of create a little action. We got stagnant in the second half. What did you see from the offense late there, particularly the last six to eight minutes? Um, you know, it was like, I thought we, we got stagnant. Didn't move the ball well enough. You know, 20 assists for the uh, game, 15 of those came in the first half. Um, our paint efficiency was uh, lacking in that second half. I think 9 for 24. So being able to finish in the paint uh, would be helpful. But uh, just, just playing multiple sides of the floor. There's no magic bullet versus switches. You know, it's, you can run whatever you want to run. It's, it's how you run it, the pace at which you run it, um, getting the right angles to get below it. And when you got the opportunity, we got to finish. What did you see defensively in those four buckets that Kawhi shot today? Uh, they were tough buckets. I mean, it's that's that's Kawhi. Um, I'm more concerned about the offense. They scored 102 points, shot 43 from the field, made 12 threes. So overall, you look at those numbers, you're not panicking. But we've struggled versus switches quite often, um, and we got to find a way to uh, continue to keep energy in the ball. Otherwise, we'll get static and get uh, bogged down a bit. I mean, it was a little bit of everything. Um, some of them were just careless. Um, others were, you know, probably a little bit of good defense. Some were, I think, just um, spatial, or playing in crowds and, and over dribbling. But um, those those turnovers are they're crushing us. It's something we got to figure out. Uh, it's been an issue all long, all year, and um, it's been tough. So, was that the main adjustment they did in the second half that was bothering you guys? Um. Not really. I mean, they did. They had. They, they were switching to five the whole oh, game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kyle, what is what is the way an offense has to play and the pace with which it has to play when it's facing a team that switches one through five? Uh, ball movement, player movement. Um, two things we didn't do. The ball was moving really well in the first half. Yeah. Why did it grow stagnant in the second? Um. No, a little bit of, uh, I don't know, we just fell in love with trying to find mismatches instead of um, just moving the ball around and uh, passing and cutting and, and playing how we did in the first half. And um, just got away from us. You guys obviously faced a ton of good shooters night in, night out. Luke Nard has had a lot of success against you guys. Something about him that he gets behind space or what does he do well? I think he just likes playing the Wizards. I mean, he kills us every time, every time. Kyle, how are we seeing KP manage things through the ups and downs of the season? Uh, I mean, KP's been great. Um, you know, uh, he's such a professional. He take care. He take care of his body. You know, he's always had that that thing of uh, you know not being able to stay on the court, but you know, seeing him firsthand every night, every day. Um, he always gets treatment. He's always lifting, take care of his body, and. The results show, I and mean, he's uh, played really well this year. How's he been as a teammate? Phenomenal teammate. Love KP. It was, it was definitely a, a, one of the toughest games I've had. You know the way they were guarding. Um, but yeah, overall, I think uh, a few missed shots here and there. But but in general, um, I think I'm pretty happy with the decisions I was making there. Um, I was telling the guys also when. When we cannot get the ball in right away, let's not force it. You know, and stag stag it. Let's just f swing and keep playing. You know, and I will space out and we just keep going. So, uh, but that's a learning process. You know, and you know, we're gonna probably see more of these kind of defenses going forward. So we have to be ready. Wes mentioned switching giving you guys trouble again. How much of that was a problem? Say that again, sorry. Wes mentioned that their switching uh, was a problem again. He's kind of mentioned it since the beginning of the season. Was that a big deal tonight? Um, no, usually we take pretty good advantage of the switches. These guys are good because they have Batum, Morris, Kawhi. Mm -hmm. uh, PG wasn't playing today, but all those guys are pretty big, and they can switch between them, and it's almost almost the same guy guarding you, every, you know, even if you get the switch. So, um, And even men, and, and they're, they're still solid defenders. They're a little bit smaller, but so... Um, it's, yeah, one of the toughest teams to play against, just of their size and physicality. Um, but uh, I think yeah, no, we're, we're fine. We're fine. We gotta. We just gotta. I think the main thing is not stagnate when we do get the switch, or you know, maybe there is, you 
you throw the pass, but it's you know it's a little bit risky. Just rather just boom, swing it and keep playing and have some have some thrust in, in what we're doing. Hey KP, on that note, Ty was saying before the game that another key beyond switching from defending you is like just trying to mix it up with different guys, but also sometimes focusing on trying to make things difficult in the post or sometimes in the perimeter. Like, how did you see that play out, and what's the challenge yeah. when they're focusing on different players? Yeah, no, honestly, that's that's one of the toughest uh, like coverages I've played against, like today. Uh, as you said, different uh, defenders each time. Uh, they would switch, then they would not switch. Then you know it was it was, uh, and then they would double from the from the baseline, and so on. So it was it was pretty tough to play against these guys. They, they, their game plan was was really solid, and uh, but that. I'm going to use this game as, as, as you know, as a learning, and, and and analyzing how we can how we can be more effective against this kind of defense. How's your back hold up? Good, good, feeling good. Yeah. Do you get any kind of explanation from the refs of what the shooting foul and what's on the floor? Yeah, I don't know. It was a couple of those situations um, that I thought you know it was an emotion of shooting, but but uh, we didn't have time. I was just kind of in the in, in the rhythm, and uh, hopefully you know hopefully going forward I get some of those. Uh, and I can go to free throw line.